Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please go click subscribe. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you are a return viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I do really appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is the Synology DS120J. So this is a single disc NAS, a one bay NAS from Synology. And believe it or not, this thing, <laughs> we're gonna go over the uh, specs on this, but this thing can support a 16 terabyte hard drive, a single 16 terabyte hard drive. It is absolutely crazy to me that, I remember getting my first one gigabyte hard drive and having to have a special card in the computer to overcome the BIOS limitations. We've come so far, 16 terabytes on one disc in this guy. I wanna thank Synology for sending this unit out. I wanna thank them even more for sending out two more for me to give away to you and a Synology RT2600AC. Now, if you wanna win this gear, you need to pay attention, so next, Saturday, not as in the day after you see this, but as in Saturday, May 16th at 9 a.m. Central, I'm going to have a live stream. We're going to have live call-in quiz show based completely around Synology. And obviously we will have three winners. Now, not only did they send the NAS units, but they sent hard drives for the NASs too, and I haven't opened these yet. Uh, we're gonna open the unit that I'm keeping. I'm actually gonna take my uh, Plex, is one of the main things I'm gonna do with mine, move my Plex off of my Slim unit, which is where I'm moving all of my, I'm pulling all of my documents and my shared files with my customers and friends off of Google, slowly but surely, and uh, converting those to Synology Drive. So you'll see a video on that as well. But so this is going to be, um, this is going to be, you know, my, my Plex. Now, we're going to open this up. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to open my drive, which is a complete supply, surprise because I have no idea what size it is. We're going to open it up. We're going to take a look on the computer at this. We're going to put this together. We're going to install uh, DSM and... Uh, then we'll talk about the giveaway or the contest once again, and uh, I'll have affiliate links to all this stuff down below. So I'm going to go ahead. First thing we're going to do is I've got three of these drives. They are wrapped in mystery uh, bubble wrap, right? So they've been taped very patiently, very diligently. Uh, we're just going to get to the bottom of this. We'll see if I can get this cut open without cutting, without cutting myself. All right, so this is a Seagate Iron Wolf 4 terabyte. Now, I would have to assume that they sent all 4 terabyte hard drives. So, um, whew, almost dropped that one. All right, so here it is. Uh, this is the Iron Wolf 4 terabyte SATA drive. It is SATA, not SAS. So, and if you don't know the difference between a SATA and a SAS drive, one of the big differences between SATA and SAS is that SAS can be addressed by two or more controllers at the same time, which is why when you see the UC3200 videos that we're waiting on the SAS drives for, uh, that's why you can have active, active, and we'll get into all that. But we've got our four terabyte drive here. And let's go ahead and get this open. Surprisingly, uh, this thing, yeah, I know what you're saying, it's single disc. You know, how awesome can it be? This thing's awesome because it harnesses the power of DSM. All right, open box here. I know people love these unboxing videos. Here's the unit itself, and it is super duper light. Uh, so let me set that there. Got a quick install guide. You know what I'm waiting, is I'm waiting for Synology to come out with a power over Ethernet uh, NAS. Wouldn't that be some shit and stuff? All right, so it looks like on our power on our power brick, so on the power brick, this is interesting. So the power brick is modular, 
So here is the US uh, plug for that. There's a little button to slide down right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slide this little button down and uh, this is slotted so it'll only fit one way. So I'm gonna do that and not start a fire. And so now our plug is complete. Here's the other end. And then we get an ethernet cable. We get uh, screws for the hard drive. For that, I don't know if that's for the unit itself or for the hard drive. But if we take a look at this, take the, uh, and literally I just got these today. Told Synology, I'll whip out a video so we can start uh, talking about this. Everybody's stuck at home right now. Be a good chance for you to study up on Synology uh, throughout the week and uh, be ready to win some gear next Saturday. So here is the unit itself. Single, single disc. So on the front, you've got uh, status light, LAN, disc, you got power. On the back, you got a Kensington locks, Ethernet, two USBs, power, and fan. As you can see here, and here there are no screws. They did not uh, put the screws in the unit for now. So uh, we just got to slide this, slide this bad boy open, put the drive in, and uh, so it's pretty simple. It just slides forward like that. You lift it off. This is the empty shell. This is where the hard drive goes. So you can see here's the SATA uh, connector right here. SATA connector. Here's your rails to hold the drive. So we're going to slide the drive in there. We're going to put the screws in. So I'm going to take my drive and I'm going to insert the drive here. Herp. Slide the drive up. It slides into the uh, connector. It's in there. Now I got to put four screws in it. Put this back together. We're gonna to put this on the network. We're gonna let it uh, get an IP. We'll switch over to the computer and we will uh, we'll, uh, look at the specs on this, the full specs, and then we're gonna configure it. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, so uh, I got the hard drive in, got the, uh, the screws put in, got my ethernet plugged in, my power. Cool. Now, it's not going to go in the switch rack. It's going to go over there on the main rack. All right, so while that's booting up and getting ready for us to do our thing, let's hop over to the computer and uh, take a look at the specs on this guy. All right, so here we are over at the Synology website, and this is the page for the Disk Station DS120J, your personal cloud solution for effortless data management. All right, so let's take a look. Fast performance, over 112 megabytes sequential reading. So if you're reading from this, you're going to saturate the one gig link. No problem. Under full, full operation, you're only going to pull 9.81 watts. Looks like it runs DS audio, DS photo, DS video. Looks like uh, we can do some backing up to it. Uh, let's see. Yep, hyper backup. We kind of looked at it already. Let's take a look at the specs. So it does have a dual core 800 megahertz uh, Marvel Armada. It's 64-bit. Uh, it does have the hardware encryption engine. It comes factory with 512 megabytes of DDR3. And here it says Synology reserves the right to replace memory modules with the same or higher frequency. So it sounds like they can swap out that memory at any time. One drive bay, we knew that. Here's where you can have one 16 terabyte drive. That is a crazy drive. You should always look at the uh, compatible drive list. All right, it's going to use the EXT4 file system. Let's see. By the way, it is ready. We're just uh, taking a look uh, at this real quick operating this is kind of the you know same stuff here's one thing that i thought was really awesome this comes with a two-year warranty and the warranty date starts from the purchase date um, on your on your receipt here's the other thing that you may not know 
is, let me see, is it under compatibility? That's not what I wanted. Uh, feature, oh wait a minute, no, it's under specs. So that was the hardware. Here's the software specs, right? So we can have one internal volume. It runs all the standard file protocols you're used to. It can do the Windows integration, no problem. 512 local accounts. This is stuff you're all kind of used to. But what I thought was really kind of interesting is when we get down here, they tell us that we want to use a max of five IP cameras, and that includes two free licenses. So you can buy three additional licenses, and you will max this out for a surveillance station. Thank you for Synology for telling us the truth and not overpromising what a device can do. This is very important. Um, so definitely, if you're going to use this for sur surveillance station, you can do it. But Synology tells you, do not go over five cameras. And then they give you all of these recommended numbers on here. Now, obviously, the VPN. So you can put VPN on this. So you can have open VPN. You know we love open VPN on the Synology. But they tell you, don't go, you know, you can't. This is probably hardwired. You can't go over the 10, uh, 10 connections. But they tell you, if you go over any of the maximums, that you're going to have poor performance. They tell you that. So just don't. Just don't do it. Know the limitations of the product. This will make a great little media server um, that you don't have to worry about. Two-year warranty. Can you believe that? All right, so I'm on a different network, so I cheated a little bit, got into the router, found the IP address. Let's set this bad boy up. So we're going to go ahead and tell it to do an install on DSM. It's going to tell us it's going to erase the data. We're going to say OK. Now, it says that it's going to be available in approximately 10 minutes. So I am going to pause this, and we will be back. All right, so uh, our NAS rebooted. Uh, DSM is installed and automatically took us to create the administrator account. Um, and so we're going to set this up. This is going to be the little NAS that could. And we're going to use uh, our lab username and password here. Well, what doesn't it like about our server name? The maximum length for this field is 15. Uh, Nazington. There we go. That should go. And it's thinking about it. Now you got to remember, this is not a 918. This is not a 920. This is a... Uh, oh, is it not, is that not going to go because of our, because of our password? What? Maybe we should use a passphrase. Oh, there it goes. I was just being impatient as usual. But you got to remember that this thing only has 512 megs of RAM, uh, dual core processor, so it is not a higher end device, but it is going to work beautifully for a, a media server, storing some files, backing up your phone for pictures, things like that. I am going to actually skip the quick connect step. Yes, we know. Say yes. I'm going to skip the recommended install. And I'm going to skip the sharing my location. We're going to get right into this. Okay, smart update. And I'm going to let the analytics go through just because I like Synology and they need to understand what's uh, going on. All right, so it looks like we got some packages that already need to be updated. Maybe. Let's see, you read all those things. Yep, so file station needs to be updated. So it is currently starting. As soon as it starts, we can run the update. But if we flip back over here to packages, these are all of the packages that we can actually install on this NAS. Anything that shows up here can be installed. So even on this single disk NAS, we can run DNS. We can do hyper backup, iTunes server, LDAP server, log server, mail server, mail station, uh, note station, photo station, there's your surveillance station, storage analyzer, calendar, drive server, VPN server. It's all here. Let's see. Is Plex down here? Plex has got to be here, right? Yep, there's Plex right there, podcast generator. So you can still run all kinds of stuff on this device. This thing is going to – it's got a, it's got a two-year warranty. Really, that's what blows my mind. So we're going to let File Station do – do its thing. We're going to come over here. We're going to take care of some of the uh, usual things that we do. We're going to go into security 
and we are going to double check all the things here modern compatibility we're not going to get a certificate yet auto block is on that's good and then we're going to come over here to network and we're going to go over to dsm settings we're going to automatically redirect that http to https and that is the only thing that we're going to configure here for now it's restarting so you're going to see it redirect us at this point over to https And it looks like file station started. I see the icon uh, showed up in the back there. So that's always a good thing. And let's see what happens here. Yep, we're going to get that because we don't have a cert. And remember, if you are issuing certs, certs cannot... Um, cover IPs. Certs can only cover fully qualified domain names. So it looks like everything is, is uh, let's see if everything's up to date. Do we need to do an update? So it looks like there is a couple updates. Before we do that, uh, I'm not going to do that in this video. What I wanted to do real quick was uh, look at the storage manager. And you can see we've got 3.6 terabytes, and it automatically created a, uh, a volume for us. It is still optimizing the system, so the system is going to be a little slow while that's happening. You can see here's our hard drive. It's normal, and that is a beautiful thing there. Let's hop over to Control Panel, and let's take um, a look at the Info Center just to you know make sure that we're seeing what we think we're seeing there it is two cores 800 megahertz 512 megs of ram i wonder if you can put a gig in this i don't know you probably can your uh, network information storage there's our storage services here device analytics and then of course if we are tied to a Synology account. So that's it for this little device. I love it. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to run this two-year warranty. Can you believe that? So I'm going to uh, work this week on, on uh, moving my uh, Plex over to this. Don't forget, Saturday, May 16th, 9 a.m. Central, live stream on my channel with the call-in giveaway. All right, that's it for this video. So if you want to win one of the DS120Js or the RT2600AC or you want a chance to win those, make sure you tune in next Saturday, May 16th at 9 a.m. Central Time to the live stream on this channel and you're going to get a chance to call in and win this. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form. If you like this video, please make sure you do give it a thumbs up. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you to all my patrons. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, that link is down below. If you'd like to use all of the affiliate links, they don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. I want to thank you all for being here. I want to see you all next Saturday, May 16th at 9 a.m. Central on the live stream to get your chance to win this gear. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.